here it's friday whoop whoop today's video we're going to be using madame glam gel polishers i've got this one it's called the loop we're literally only using one gel polish color today and we have got some micro mylar from nail sugar i love this stuff so much uh, right so we're only going to put one coat of color so find a nude that covers quite nicely uh, without too many patchy bits you don't want it to look patchy but if it is a bit patchy don't worry too much because we are going to cover it up with some ink so hopefully see that's that's covered quite nicely that's going in for 30 seconds and then over the top of that we're going to go in with a very thin coat of base coat a very thin layer of base coat and i'm only going to cure this for about 10 seconds also i do need to tell you that this set is inspired by this person here I saw these nails and I absolutely love them. So we're gonna just tap the micro mylar into that part cured base coat. And then I'm going to, oh, by the way, the, the micro mylar I'm putting in the area where I want to put the ink. Don't worry if it obviously is goes a bit further, that's absolutely fine. Then I'm gonna finish curing it in the lamp for like that last 20 odd seconds or so. Um, I'm using chroma inks. Now, Madame Glam do have or have had inks. I don't know that they're available anymore, um, which is why I use the chroma inks. However, I do wish I'd use the Madame Glam inks because I they I really like Madame Glam inks. They're really nice. Um, right, we're going over with some velvet matte top coat now. When I use inks, I like to go on um, a velvet matte top coat or a matte top coat. I've also got some acetone there in that pot. Um, I find that if I put inks over a um, like a non-wipe top coat or the Tacky Leo gel polish, that when I come to top coat them, they end up smearing or smudging. Whereas when I do the when I do it with the with the velvet matte top coat with a matte top coat, they there is you don't get any of that smudging or smearing. Um, probably because the matte top coat is it's a bit porous, isn't it, and it sucks it up. Um, but what I'm doing now is I am using the acetone to manipulate the ink. Is that the right word? And I'm going to move it where I want where I want it. So this one I was kind of going for a bit of a a bit of a swoosh. And this one I've only used the pink and the purple ink. And the good thing about inks is if you want to, you can go back in with a bit more. And then obviously you can go back in with your alcohol, uh, not alcohol, um, acetone. I find acetone works a bit better than alcohol, the, the alcohol, the isopropyl alcohol. Don't know why, but I'm going to leave it like that. And then I almost slipped up here. Um, you need to top coat. Well, you don't have to, you can, you can go, o you can go over with the gold gel. By the way, Madame Glam's gold gel paint is amazing. It's literally my favorite thing at the moment. Um, I was like, no, I want to top coat it first. I want to seal those inks in um, and I'm going to matte top coat it. But the the gel paints from Madame Glam don't have a tacky layer. So you can work on top of a finished nail. And the only reason I want to work this on top of the finished nail is because I want the nail to be matte and I want the gold gel paint to be gold and shiny. Sh shiny, that makes sense. You're also going to need a bit of no wipe top coat on your palette for the for the end bit so i'm just working this gel paint through the like inky design that i've done um there's no really no rhyme nor reason to it i don't think as long as it kind of just flows with the ink design that you've done there we are and then the gel paint needs a 60 second cure. I'm only gonna cure it for 30. And then using a dotting tool, I'm gonna add some little blobs of no wipe top coat. And I'm doing it like kind of in between the different sections. And you can also add some like outside of the, the gold gel paint as well, if you want to, like a couple here. And then that's going to go in for another 30 seconds. So that's that gold gel paint will have had a full cure and the top coat is obviously cured as well. I'm also using this one. This is a nice blue. Um, so we're going to repeat the, um, the color coat, the base coat, the mylar and the velvet matte top coat on all of the nails. So 
that is going to be exactly the same every time so i'm only going to show you me doing the ink because otherwise it's just going to get very repetitive and this time i'm using that dark blue i wish i'd used a lighter blue again i think my madam glam is a lighter blue um chroma ink didn't have a lighter blue they had this darker blue um which is lovely but i wanted it a little bit a little bit brighter no a little bit lighter but it doesn't matter it still came out pretty nice um, so I wanted the pink to go into a purple to go into a blue for this one and again I've kind of done a swoosh a bit of a swoosh going on on this one but it's like in a different direction and then remember to top coat before you go on with the gel paint there is one nail that I done and I forgot to top coat it but because no one's actually wearing it I thought it doesn't matter also I contaminated my top coat here my ink obviously hadn't dried and I had to throw away uh, my my velvet matte top coat, which made me nearly cry. Because <laughs> you know how much I love my velvet matte top coat. And you'll see in um, later on in the video that I use a different brand of top coat because um, I, I love to look, see how much, if I've got another velvet matte top coat. Um, and then obviously again, we're gonna add those little dollops of no wipe top coat. These are, these are cute. It makes it almost look like there's crystals on the nail, almost, but not quite. But it looks, uh, yeah, it was a nice touch, this. I thought it was lovely. I'll leave that lady's Instagram account, by the way, that these are inspired by, down in the description box below. So you can go and find her. Um, this is a sort of turquoisey green that I thought I'd add to this one. Now, this one, you can see the mylar is mostly on the outside of the nail. So we thought... I thought she'd done one that look, made the ink look like it was bordering the nails, so I thought I'd do one like that as well. This time I've only used the purple, the pink and the turquoise and not the blue. And then again I'm going to use my acetone on my old acrylic 3D brush just to kind of, uh, what's the word, just to blend out the edges. I suppose that's probably the right word I don't want to go too mad and then it's actually this one you should actually now top coat the nail with your velvet matte top coat I forgot and I went straight in with the gel paint I got ahead of myself so imagine it's top coated now <laughs> whoopsie daisies there we go and I'm just gonna do like I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave it like that and just leave those two there we go i thought that looked pretty cool so that's going to get a 30 second cure then we're going to go in with our little dollops of top coat and put that in for another 30 seconds which means that gel paint would have had a full 60 second cure and the top coat that you just put on has had a full cure as well okay so this one what am i doing with this one i can't remember it looks like another swoosh i'm not sure this time i've got the turquoise out and I've got the pink out. And actually when where the pink hit the turquoise, it made it like a kind of purpley color. So I I don't know that I got the purple out. And again, I'm going to use that acetone to work the alcohol ink. I'll leave Chroma Ink's Instagram account as well. I don't know. I tried to get on their website the other day. And it, I don't know, I, I couldn't get on and I don't know what had happened. I don't know if they've, I don't know, but if, if, I, if they've, yeah, I'll have a look for their website. If their website is still up, I'll leave the website down below where you can find these inks. Oh, that was a purple. I did add a bit of purple to this one. Again, I think this is, yeah, this is like another swoosh, isn't it? A bit of a swoosh. I do enjoy inks. I think inks make nail art look really pretty. There we go. Um, this one. Oh yeah, look, ignore the gold gel paint. <laughs> I forgot to top coat it again. So I've top coated it. Pretend that gold gel paint's not there. And then you go over the top with your gold gel paint. <laughs> Probably totally confused everyone doing this video. because, But, sorry. <laughs> If, you, if, you, if you're not sure what to do, go buy that first nail that we did, because I've done that one perfectly. Um, whereas these are all a bit, these have all gone a bit wrong for, for getting top coating and stuff. 
there we go adding our little blobs on um you can get 30 percent off madam glam using my code natmug30 as well i don't think i mentioned it but these are them done i think they're so pretty thank you to that lady for the inspiration um if you did like this video please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing it's completely free and you can always change your mind later websites and discount codes will be below um i think that's it have an amazing weekend because it's friday whoop whoop I love, a I love a weekend. Actually, every day feels like the weekend because the kids are at home. But love you lots. God bless. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.